Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Cody, the Astro Adventurer, and today I've got a really good uh, session for you. I've got a massive unboxing. Uh, I've been kind of waiting on this. I haven't been able to open these boxes, and they've been coming every day this week, and I'm super excited about a couple, couple of these items, and I've kind of started uh, first with the ones I'm most excited with, and then kind of tapering on uh, from there, but the first one we have in this box is a solar filter. It's a hydrogen alpha filter that's going to let me see the prominences and the chromosphere of the sun in great detail. So it's actually going to go on the 80 millimeter refractor behind me here. And this will allow me to take uh, videos during the day, I mean, vid well, videos of the sun and pictures of the sun during the day, and then also at night now. So I'll be doing it whole time basically. <laughs> so um, as long as the sun is shining. So let's get this open here and show it. This is made by Daystar, and Daystar is a very uh, reputable brand that makes all, all kinds of solar filters, and oh, that's kind of cool packaging here too. This is called the Daystar Quark. I don't know if you can see that right there, but I'll move this out of the way. And so this, the cool thing about this is a lot of times when people are wanting to do solar imaging, they uh, will get a whole new telescope for solar energy imaging. And you don't have to do that though. The Daystar Quark is just as good as those other ones like the Lentz and other uh, uh, dedicated solar filters, uh, dedicated solar telescopes. And it just adapts to your regular uh, telescope. So this, they have a refractor version, which is the one I got, and they also have a reflector version. I didn't get the reflector version um, that would go on like Newtonians or SCTs and stuff because I want to have the ability to see the whole sun, and if I was just using the SCT, SCT telescope, it would be a super zoomed in, close view. Uh, this is going to allow me to see the whole sun when I have my reducer on. Um, so you can see the whole sun if you've got 450 millimeters of focal length or less. So that has a native focal length, the 80 millimeter SV Boney of 560 millimeters but I have my focal reducer on that brings me down to 448. So I'm right at the cusp there. So I should just fit the sun perfectly in, um, in the screen there. So let's get this open. Let's see what it looks like. The packaging is beautiful and it better be for the price I paid for it because this was uh, $1,300 or more. So um, probably shouldn't tell my wife about that, but you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> but we got, oh look, it even, wow. So I guess this is the cork itself. Here, I'm taking stuff out here. This was just a, uh, looks like a uh, USB uh, cable, mini uh, mini USB to USB A cable. Um, and then we got some uh, Eclipse glasses here, you know, there you go. <laughs> I guess uh, that'll come in handy for later this year. There is an Eclipse coming later this year and a full Eclipse coming in 2024, in I believe April 2024. So let's uh, get this opened here, let's see what she looks like. And this is I've seen these boxes before, but never one this big. Usually your um, like eyepieces and stuff come in things like that. All right. Which I guess it is an eyepiece sort of thing because it goes into your uh, diagonal is what it does. So you can use a two inch diagonal, which is probably what I'm going to be doing, or a 1.25 inch diagonal. Um, yeah, I think it's just going to slide right into the 1.25 inch diagonal. So there it is. So that was $1,300, wow. <laughs> I was thinking something maybe a little bit bigger, but I mean, it feels really solid. I see now the mini USB cable or micro USB cable, sorry, will uh, plug right into here. And then uh, the other one, I guess I can just probably plug into my ASI Air, I'm assuming, to power it. I think it has to like heat up or power uh, for, for a certain period of time. And uh, then that, then you can start using it for like 10 or 15 minutes, I believe. And then you can adjust the settings here and this will um, allow me to see all the really cool uh, pictures you see of the sun with like the solar flares coming off of it. And this is really good timing because the sun is at a maximum state right now. So it's going to be putting off a lot of solar flares. So I'm really, really, really excited to get this in there and start using it. Um, it was on back order for, geez, for like two months. So I've been waiting for it for a while. Let's see what we got over here. Well, I'm going to be really careful with that. Um, came with some other stuff it looks like. I don't know what is in here though. Mm -hmm. Some plastic adapters of some sort, just a bunch of adapters, I guess. Let's make a mess here. Okay. okay, it's like a power adapter for it. If I wanted to plug in, yeah, the USB into that so it's regulated. Um, so that'll work. And it's got a little adapter for 
I think that's for you all in, in the UK. I believe that's uh, for that. So that's, that's kind of cool. Um, it's got a bunch of different plugs on it. Uh, a little different standard, so I think that's the one we need for the U.S., so I'll kind of probably keep those two out. Um, and if I'm traveling, I guess I can take it overseas with me, so how about that? All right, cool. So that'll be fun. Can't wait to show you all that. Um, that's going to really, like, just take my uh, astrophotography to another level. I've never really done uh, solar astrophotography other than with, like, a white filter um, just to see the sunspots, so I cannot wait to start using this. That's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, so let's get this out of the way here um, and try not to break it. That would be nice. Uh, let's see, there we go. And next we're going to open this big box over here. Very excited about this as well. Um, this, well, I'll let you see what it is. This is gonna allow me to do a lot of, uh, while we're traveling and adventures, you know, part of the Astro Adventurer piece, right? And it's a smaller refractor. So I was going back and forth with this. I think I originally said I was going to use a uh, like 300 millimeter zoom lens, but I got to looking at it and just with the focusing of the zoom lenses, it doesn't always like work all that well. So I'm going to, um, I decided to make a change and that change was to get a small refractor. And I was looking at refractors and I was going back and forth on it. And small refractors are usually, you can see it by the box, it's from Skywatcher. So um, you probably already know what this is, but a lot of the small refractors, I mean, I've got a small refractor behind me, it's an 80 millimeter, but it's still kind of heavy. It's not really that portable, as you can see. And that thing is solid. To the SV Bony one, it's a solid piece of metal. This is a 60, I think it's a 62 millimeter, and it's got 400, uh, it's got 400, um, oh, this is a nice packaging. 400 millimeters of focal length as well. And it's gonna be very, very portable. And the nice thing about the Skywatcher, there's some other companies that make this. I think there's like a Red Cat 61, uh, Red Cat 51 as well. I think it's uh, 51, I don't know if they make a 61. I believe they do though. And uh, this is just came out, I believe last year or something. And let me turn that around so you all can see that. This is a really nice case. I'm very excited about this. And I'm surprised, I got this on sale. And listen to this. If you're all looking for a small portable refractor, this is on sale now for like less than uh, like 350. I think it was like 329, and it's usually like a couple hundred dollars more than that. Uh, I just got it off of Amazon, but I think some other places are running deals now too. I do a lot of my ordering from Agena Astro, um, and Agena Astro I believe had it on sale for 329 as well for the same price. I got it off of Amazon because I didn't want to wait as long for shipping. I hate doing that, but you know, they have some good stuff too, obviously. But I do most of my ordering from Agena Astro. Um, that's where that cork came from as well. So highly, highly recommend them. You'll get updated stuff all the time about what's in stock, when it's coming back in stock, and they won't charge you until they ship everything out. I'm not affiliated with them, but I just love them. <laughs> all right, so let's open up this beautiful case here. My goodness. Ooh, this packaging is just phenomenal. And this is gonna be nice. Like I can use this to, um, I don't know if you can see in there real. I can use this to travel around as well. And it's gonna be a lot of fun to travel around and, and with, with this and, and put the refractor in there and everything. And it's gonna be so much easier as you can tell versus the big refractor over here. Let's take this out of there. Oh man, it is tight in there though. I guess it fits well. All right. Well, this is heavier than I thought it was going to be for such a small telescope. Man, look how portable that is, though. So my wife and I are about to invest in getting a uh, uh, a like camper, a small camper to go around too, so that'll allow us to kind of stay in places and and. Uh, all that and take my, my astro gear with me and stay and like go to star parties and like all that. So really looking forward to taking that to you here pretty soon. But man, this is a solid piece of metal. Wow, that thing is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I think it's got a two speed focuser over here. Yeah, it does, it does. Oh, I'm really excited to start using that thing. Um, and it does have an expandable dew shield. Um, I was looking at this as well. So when you're, you know, when you got it set up, you just extend it out. But it's nice that it's uh, collapsible for when you're traveling, right? And it already, I don't know if you can see that, but it already has two uh, brackets here set up 
so I can mount my guide scope on here, my mini guide scope that you see back there, the SV Boney 30 millimeter guide scope. And I can mount my ASA Air Plus on there as well. So, and it, it'll, it'll still track right, even though this thing is like pretty heavy. I think it's not as heavy as my 80 millimeter, but uh, yes, yeah, so it's the, just to tell you, I don't think I told you this, it's the Skywatcher Evolux 62 ED um, refractor. So 62 millimeters and it's um, got a focal length of 400 millimeters. So I think I mentioned that earlier, but man, this is, this thing feels like it's built very, very well. It's already set up to accept a two inch, um, you know, hook up here and adapter. So that'll be good uh, for when I get my camera back. I don't know if you all see this right now, but I do not have my DSLR on there. I'm getting it astro modified right now. So it's going to be able to see a uh, little bit more. It's going to be more um, sensitive to hydrogen alpha. And sulfur two and then also uh, oxygen three uh, wavelengths of light as well so it's going to be uh, about four to six times more sensitive on that i was taking some pictures with it the other day and it did well um, but it's it's missing a lot of those kind of subtle reds and stuff that you get from the hydrogen alpha um, so i'm looking forward to the, to getting that done and getting that back and i'll show you the pictures that comes with that as well so let's see what else is in this case i guess it's a lockable case it comes with a key this is pretty awesome. This is a, a nice, nice case. Um, yeah, okay, so there's just some slots, an hour wrench key. There's some slots to like put some other of your accessories in there, maybe have some filters. That, there's a, it looks like there's a cutoff for the SIR even. How about that? It's got, yeah, I think that would, that might just fit it. And so yeah, really beautiful packaging. I Man, I'm impressed with that. So if you're looking for a small refractor, um, I, so far this looks great. I am going to obviously do some reviews on it and do, take some pictures and show you all what it produces here soon. But I think from what I see now, it's gonna be really, really good. So I'm gonna put this just off to the side here really quickly and we'll open up the final thing that we got. The final thing is not as exciting, but it's, it's going to help me do another form of astrophotography as well, which is how I started my astrophotography journey, which was wide field, sorry, wide field astrophotography using a DSLR while well, I was using a mirrorless Fujifilm at the time and a wide field lens um, to take pictures of the Milky Way. And so this is real, really where I got my start and really started to captivate me. So I would absolutely suggest if you're looking to get into this, start with Milky, Milky Way photography. It's a lot easier. You don't need like a guide scope. You don't need a telescope. All you need is maybe you've got a camera laying around that you can use and a couple lenses. Use that. It'd be perfect to get your start in astrophotography and a lot cheaper because trust me, you can really go down a rabbit hole <laughs> once you get into the telescopes and everything. So. Let's open up here. This is um, a Canon lens that I got. It's uh, for my full frame camera. And it's, uh, I believe, a 16 millimeter F2.8. So F2.8 is pretty good. I was kind of wanting F2, F1.8, uh, but um, I'm not too worried about it. I think F2.8 is going to still be pretty good um, for the full frame camera and everything. So I actually got this from Canon. And I'm telling you, I'm finding the best deals from, from Canon right now. I think this might have been refurbished or maybe they just had it on sale, but it was only like $150, I think. After tax, it was like $190 right around there. But it was cheaper than the used ones that I was finding on eBay. So why wouldn't I want to get like a new or uh, refurbished one off of Canon's website directly? Free shipping, all that stuff. So yeah, it's in beautiful condition. I mean, maybe even brand new. But yeah, it's on sale right now. If you're looking for good lenses, you got a Canon camera, um, the RF and the and I think it's the EF lenses. You can find a lot of them on uh, Canon's website. So definitely, definitely check it out. I think that's everything that's in there. Just some instructions and stuff too. But all right, that is all we had to open today. I'm really looking forward to just bringing all this stuff to you soon and, and testing a lot. I know we've had a lot of uh, opening videos <laughs> recently, but I do want to. Uh, kind of uh, start testing this out, give you some of my thoughts and my reviews after using them. Um, my camera, my DSLR should be back in about 10 days or so, 10 to 12, 10 to 14 days. And, but I'm, I'm gonna be using my planetary camera in the, in the meantime with that, uh, maybe doing some planets uh, here soon. We are gonna have a conjunction coming up while we're in alignment where all the planets are gonna be lined up with the moon on May 29th. So stay tuned for that, that's gonna be pretty awesome. But 
Let's go ahead and I'm going to give you a nice little um, overview of this scope, a little bit of a close-up of it as well, but I appreciate you joining today and I hope you enjoyed the pictures we're going to get into this uh, coming up here soon and the adventures we're going to do as well. So thanks a lot and I'll see you next time. Take care.